Hey guys, it's Gorenita here, and welcome to the Realm of Besiege, okay? I, I told you guys I was really excited to play this game. I've seen some people play it on YouTube, some other YouTubers, and uh, I really like the look of the game, and thought it's a really kind of interesting concept. I wanted to try it out, and, uh, you know, kind of get into the indie game scene a bit more on Steam. So, uh, that's basically what I'm doing today. One of my very first indie games, actually, I guess you could say. But anyway, guys... Back on topic, uh, yeah, I was looking, I was really looking forward to playing this game, and so far, it has not disappointed me. I played the first two levels, played for about 10 to 15 minutes at the most, uh, just to basically get kind of like a grasp on the controls and get the basic concept of the game, but not learn too much, you know, I will still be learning a little bit along with you guys, so it would be kind of like my first impressions, and uh, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. Now, it's made by Spiderling Games, uh, it's only £5 on the Steam, or the original equivalent, and uh, yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, so I can't wait to jump into it here, play a bit more, and uh, kind of experience it with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into this. So guys, let's go to Ypsilon, which is uh, kind of like the first area where you play. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few little levels on just this little island alone, and then there's a lot more, I believe. Uh, there's, it's, it is in early access, okay, so there isn't that much available at the moment, but uh, if we go back to the world quickly, you can see there's a lot of areas on here, plus, uh, well, that's the one that's unlocked, Ypsilon. And then uh, you've got these other areas with loads of more missions to be coming in the future as they kind of update this game and improve upon it and stuff like that. There's a sandbox mode, which is uh, kind of a work in progress. Haven't tried that yet. And also the moon, which uh, I guess will be a brand new world. So it looks like they're going to be updating this game quite regularly. And I uh, can't see what other levels they bring up. But guys, I barely experienced this game. Let's jump into the first level here, which you can see I've already conquered. But anyway, I want to explain it to you guys. Jesus Christ, that was the um, the the siege machine, basically, that I uh, built when I was testing this. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. I'll show you guys what it's all about. So uh, basically, you get this kind of little starting block. And uh, you have uh, like uh, the basic stuff, which you kind of assemble everything onto. You have blocks. Uh, mechanical, weaponry, flight, and armor. So, obviously, you know, the further you go through the uh, game, there's going to be different kind of challenges that you have to overcome. There, there will eventually be enemies, uh, like, shooting stuff at you that can actually destroy your machine. So, then you're going to need armor and weapons to kind of conquer that and uh, get past and through different scenarios. So, uh, anyway, just for this one, you can see... Basically, just got to destroy this little uh, kind of cottage here. Uh, you know, just minding their own business. But they've obviously done something wrong to our side of the empire, I guess. So, uh, let's start off with some, you know, little blocks. Let's get the kind of foundations going for you guys. So, you can see, you just literally click and place. It's very nice. You can do it very quickly. Uh, I, I probably will fuck up at some point just because, like I said, I have not played this game much. Yeah, I, I literally just played it to learn the basic controls. So that that's a decent little base to uh, start this first one off. Uh, is that the wheels? That is the wheels. And you can, like, flip them and everything, you know, to change the direction they're going. You, it's basically a massive kind of, like, sandbox building game built along with this awesome art style. I mean, like, look at this. It, is, it looks really nice. And, uh, you know, you can be very creative with it and a lot of fun. And, of course, there's plenty of destruction, which uh, is what is what we like to see. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, that, that'll probably do. But, anyway, let's, let's do a bit of fun. Okay, that'll probably do for just running over the cottage. But let's put, I don't know, let's put some kind of weaponry on here to show you guys what it's all about. Let's put a metal spike. Why not? Actually, that's going to probably tip over. It's just, you know. Do that, that. That should balance it out. It doesn't look the best, but I'm sure once we kind of hone our siege engine building skills, we'll eventually kind of get better at this and make some awesome epic proportion machines. Basically, what we do is just click that button, and then we're now in control of the siege machine and just destroy everything. <laughs> look at that. Just complete destruction. And it's going all over the place. Jesus Christ. But anyway, on to the next zone. Next zone down the bottom right there. There we go. Uh, this is, I, I also already played this one now. Uh, this one was a little bit harder because it's kind of up on this, uh, let's have a look over here. It's kind of up on this, um, you know, like little cliff bit here. So you need, uh, it to be kind of tallish to actually reach it. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at this thing. Let's, uh, let, let's scrap it. Let's do something new for you guys. Uh, and yeah, you can get like uh, motors and stuff to get more kind of complex steering machines Because at the moment if you just build a machine with just wheels on then you can only go kind of like forwards and backwards But you can build like, uh, you know turning mechanisms and all this kind of stuff It's a really cool kind of concept for a game 
And, and plus, it's only five pounds on uh, Steam or original equipment. So uh, yeah, you know, it, it seems like a very good deal so far. Having a lot of fun with this. Uh, what shall we do? Um, normal worlds. Yeah. Is that like your recents? Oh no, they're the basics, right? For getting like the basic bodywork of the machine gun. Let's go for a tri wield thingy, my Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know just g gotta be creative guys okay so uh right let's build a kind of like an upper platform get this thing going again and uh let's put some nice heavy weaponry on this thing uh let's well let's make this more of a platform firstly a bit more stable am i right so uh there we go. Click, 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 and do it in the center. Why not? There we go. <laughs> just, just like a rolling cube. Where I want to test this. <laughs> just like move out. Yes, boy. He's breaking into many castles with this rolling wooden Rubik's cube. <laughs> Look at this thing. Anyway, let's uh go back here and actually put some worthwhile weaponry. Around. I forgot. I need to put things on the ground so they don't just break <laughs> when they fall from the sky. Uh, right. So yeah, look at all this stuff. You can get cannons and stuff. I'm pretty sure somewhere. Yeah, there you go. There's cannons. Shall we do cannons? Uh, uh what we got? We have to, guys. Okay, we have to. Let's just bombard this thing with fucking cannons. Uh, that will do. I I guess that'll do. Let's have uh. I don't know. Let's have a cheeky little test run. Wait, I didn't look how you fire these things. I'm gonna guess, guess it's gonna be F. No. Okay. Let's have a quick little look. C to ignite, and they they can only fire once. Okay. Get a nice cinematic camera angle on this. Let's see if we can take it out with our very first attempt at the cannons. Let's do this. Oh, nice. We actually did it. I was expecting. I I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to actually destroy it. There, I thought we might have to drive a bit closer. Anyway, onto the next zone. This is a brand new zone, so like I said, I only did the first two levels. Ah, I've seen this one. So basically, this is more of a maneuvering one because there's like little mines there, and I think the sheep explode <laughs> from uh, what I saw last time. How to use the camera? Uh, all right, let's just have a quick look through this one. All right, yeah, I already know all that stuff. That's that's what I practiced it for. Um, righty ho. We oh well, we can get to work with kind of like a turning mechanism on this one because uh, we will yeah we do have to m maneuver all the treacherous mines that have been placed by whoever our enemies appear to be in this game. Um, yeah, that'll do I guess. Uh, right, how do I make things move? A hinge, swivel joint, ball joint, um, brace. Wooden pole. Look at all this stuff. A uh, hint? No. I don't think it would be a hinge. I think it would be... I think it's this thing. Yeah, that looks That looks like it turns and uh, would be good for wheels. I don't know why I put that on there. There we go. Four-wheeler. Doing a bit of off-road or something. Large wheel. Let's go for the large wheel. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Fucking pimp mobile, boys. Let's roll out in this thing. Uh, yeah, that should do, I guess. Wait, how do I... Uh, let's go back to the hinge thing. Oh, it doesn't really say. I guess it lets me turn. Oh, wait, no. I think it might be these things. Oh, well, let's have, let's have a quick little test run, guys. That's what it's all about, testing this thing out. Yeah. That That is not correct. Wait. Let's redo this. Uh, uh, X, 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 X. Right. Um, I believe this hinges. They'll let you turn, probably. That is the wrong way. How did I flip them? F? No. F. Flip. No. What the? What the hell, bro? Uh, ball, ball joint? Maybe. Mm. Ah, right. There it was. It was under the wheel section. I'm a numpty. I apologize. Okay, guys. Like I said, I learned the basics, but I'm still going to be learning along with you guys. So, uh, well, then again, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of my subscribers probably haven't tried out this game yet or even if like they've actually heard of it so hopefully this will give you a good little experience into the game and maybe you'll go help out the indie devs and uh, pick it up for yourselves possibly if uh, you enjoy the let's play all right let's try this thing out uh will it actually let me steer it holy crap the driftmobile 9000 <laughs> guy oh shit i'm gonna go into a bomb look at this thing i may have put these on wait no is this correct is this yeah wait is this, how, is, is this how a car is meant to work? Guys, I don't even know. I'm going to hit that. Oh, my God. A cheap took out my bloody wheel. 
You bastard piece of haggis. Wait, is haggis sheep? I, I don't know. I'm not Scottish. Oh, fuck. Oh, blood and everything. I'm happy with that. My last name's Gore. Why not? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a little broken. <laughs> Let, let's, uh, let's try, you know, redo this thing, fix it up. Let's uh, destroy that thing. And, uh, you know, now, now that we actually know how to turn this thing, let's get a better kind of thing going. I think smaller will be better in this case. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> just, you know, to m maneuver the mines a bit better. I don't know. That That is going to sit off my OCD. I, guys, I think I kind of have OCD probably from playing Minecraft at a young age. But there you go. I don't know if that's correct. I think, I think it automatically defaults to, like, the correct way. That normal people will put it, so I guess that's right. Uh, wheels. Let's just do normal. Oh, fuck. Not that way. Oh, bollocks. Man's deleting everything. There we go. Let's try this little... Oh, I need it thinner, don't know. I don't know. Let's just try it out. Just check. Just check it's working correctly. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's how a car is meant to work, but fuck it. It's so... Oh, no, sheep. The no. Fucking sheep! Destroyed it, and then I went into the mine. So, uh, it looks like they actually kind of like to stay disable your vehicle. Let me try uh, get the hang of this rotating machine thing. Like, how, how to rotate the wheels properly, and then I'll be back. Sheep, leave me alone. Stay away from me. I don't, I don't even know what your haircut is, but stay away from me. I don't like you. You will hurt me. Or did, oh, I hurt myself. There you go. <laughs> and my wheels will now break dance to the Wob, wob, dub, oh my god, that, <laughs> that's what you get, sheep, for destroying my bloody vehicles, yeah, that is, that is definitely not how wheels are meant to work, guys, my motoring skills are really not on par, fuck you, sheep, and you, this, oh, this is just the sheep destroyer, 9,000, and everything else destroyer, apparently, Holy shit, this may actually work, guys. I was like, fuck steering, but... Oh my god, I actually got pretty close with that really weird flying... I don't I don't think you can call that a flying machine, really, can you? But I, I don't know. I think a bit more work on this, and we may actually have, like, liftoff. And we may actually be able to make it to the bloody end of this thing. Alright, guys, I attached a little kind of propeller to the front, so I think this may work. Holy shit, and we're gone. Land it. Land. <laughs> we, we was close. Oh, shit. And now we're setting the whole forest on fire. Oh, God. No, no, no. Just one tree. No mind. All right. Let's try that again. We actually got pretty close. Let's zoom out a bit this time so you can see where the fuck it flies off to. All right. Up and away. Oh, 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 oh. Did we go too far? Definitely too far. That's it. Stead. No, no, I, d I did not, uh, I did not apply for it to go backwards. Uh, right. Um, right. Do you know? Just there you go. No, no. Oh my god, it's dancing all over the place. Oh, I took off the front one. F front flips for days. All right, let's try this again. Come on. Oh, I, I need to just fucking th throttle it. Full throttle, boys. Let's go. Land it. No, no, no. Fly away. Alright, guys. We now fucking tri-bladed it at the front. So, uh, let's try this again. Oh, that's, that looks good. Oh, fuck. We, we was close. That that was definitely, like, full-on straight. Let's try that again. Go on up. And loop it round. Loop it. <laughs> I think <laughs> that is a roasted sheep view. That is... Want, anybody want some roasted lamb? Wait, I gotta go. Ah, oh, it stops it. Fuck. I was gonna go uh, to get a close up of uh, the, you know, toasted sheep. That was actually pretty close. Let's try this again. We could do this. Added a little extra one on that. Uh, no, definitely not. Let's uh, get rid of that back one. There we go. And I don't know. Just let's just keep trying this. I think it may actually work. Up and keep it going. No, now we're going backwards. Come on. Oh, flip. Oh! <sighs> we were so close. <laughs> we was literally like a feet, a foot away from, uh, you know, from getting that. And again. 
All right, no. A little, little easier on the power, Josh. A little easier on the power, my friend. No, I just did the exact same. Completely ignored my own advice. GG, Josh. GG. All right, guys. We've now created the round robin of uh, of Besiege. Right, that's what that co car was called, right? The, the three-wheeled one, which was, you know, just like a death trap. You 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 go on a roundabout in that thing, and you are fucked. You are flipping that thing. So, uh... Yeah, it's, oh, that is a sheep. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work. Really? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> definitely still a death trap, even within uh, we, even within Besiege. All right, guys, we may actually have this. Just practice. Take, oh, no, not too... F really? Fuck you, sheep. This way. No, this way. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Oh, fuck you, sheep. It is straight up the sheep. Right. We're going for a full-on hybrid, guys. Screw the bloody sheep, okay? Just screw them. Let's do this. Let's fly through the air. And then once we get past the main bit, we can kind of, like, cruise on the ground, right? Oh, it's, it's not strong enough to lift us up. Damn it. All right, we're going to need a few more, a few more propellers on here. Or some sort. Wait, let's build, like, another little section. That makes sense, right? Uh, just, you know. These, that'll do. No, not that one. OCD. Uh. No. Like that. There we go. This should be able to house us a decent amount. I don't think. Yeah, you can't do that. Um, and then we, if we take out the middle ones, it'll be slightly lighter, which means it should fly a bit better, I guess. We may need to add another one on there. Yeah, we've only added one more. I don't think they'll actually take off. Um, here, I guess, would be fine. Or oh, that's probably going to weigh it down. God damn it. Let's do, an Let's do two more. Why not? I don't... I don't... I have no idea if this is actually going to be enough to lift it off. Look at this thing. <laughs> Just a... Uh, it looks kind of like a uh, centipede or something. Like one of those really long-legged insects. Oh, kind of. But it lifts us at the back, which means it's back heavy. So, we need more at the front. Yeah. Obviously. Just, you know, don't mind if I do. And there we go. That one. All right. And lift off. Oh, my God. What is it doing? <laughs> it, yes. No. Um. Hmm. I think it's because the wheels aren't, like, evenly proportioned. Uh, And this side. There we go. Basics. Uh, here, yeah. That should, that should be right. The game, the game is pretty good at doing it automatically for you. And getting, like, the wheels the right way. I was just dumb and didn't realise that. Lift off. Guys. We have lift off. We are actually airborne. Uh, no. <laughs> Scratch that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. We need a new iteration of vehicle. Wait, we actually got pretty far. Oh, I think it's because we reached the sky limit. I right, set them, or or that I guess. Um, right. I think we need one at the front to kind of propel it forward, which means uh, I probably should take out the front one, right? So it ain't front heavy, like that, maybe. Let's try it. No, it's it's them back heavy. God damn you, physics. Now, if you're into physics, you you definitely want to consider this game. <laughs> You'll probably be it much better at it than I am. Um, that, that seems like it would work, question mark. And it does. We have an Airbus, guys. A motherfucking Airbus. We almost made it. We destroyed a lot in the process, though. That, that's the objective of this game, right? Truly, you're just destroying people and sheep and buildings. Oh, my God. The Airbus has not landed successfully. <laughs> Next attempt. Guys, we can do it with, the, with our Airbus. No, pull up. Oh, oh. The yeah, Airbus has landed, and that finally is Mission 3. They called Mission Zone 3 completed. On to the next one. What is the next challenge for us? Thank God we can actually kill people and not have to maneuver sheep, which are arguably a lot more annoying than people. So, let's scrap this. Let's, let's scrap the kind of more transportation-based machine, and now onto the absolute siege engine of mass destruction. Let's do this. Alright, so we're going to want to build this thing big, big, big. 
That is the only words that are in my mind now. Big, big, powerful, big. No, OCD. There we go. And let's do the underside. Guys, you, you're going to be happy with my creation once uh, you see. Just, you know, once you see it fully, you, you're going to like, actually, to be honest, I have no idea what I'm actually doing. I'm just placing blocks and seeing where my illogical brain takes me. Uh, yeah, sure, that looks kind of cool. Uh, right, actually, no, we should probably build supports under here, right? Uh, right. There we go. And one feet. Uh, you see, we don't want to put too many because then it makes it kind of heavy and harder to move. So there we go. Nice. That looks pretty stable. If we put some wheels on here now. Uh, actually, hmm. I probably shouldn't have put them there. Damn it! Scratch that. Actually, we can undo the undo button, right? A. Hey, the undo button is the best feature ever. Best, best game feature ever. Alright. Um, sure, let's, let's just do it like this. Go full on stable. Full on siege engine. No. Oh, damn it. Damn it. There we go. Um, yeah, that should, that should do. Now for the wheels. No, we don't want those pesky, rubbish, weak looking wheels. We want... Absolute freaking monster truck range rover, rover wheels of mass destruction. Oh, can we put little wheels inside? Holy crap, guys. My mind. Oh, my God. We can put the big ones inside as well. Look at this. Oh, my God. My brain just jizzed. <laughs> my brain has leaked awesome fluids. Just like mind blown. That is awesome. Holy crap, I did not expect you to have to... Well, you know, the little wheels I can understand, but the big wheels... Oh my god, this looks so cool. This like some kind of factory machine work. My brain literally just jizzed. Right, um... Now onto the weaponry, I guess. The funnest part of this game. Just cannons, cannons, cannons. Okay, that is the new word. That is my illogical brain has popped out. Is cannons. Um... Uh, should we do it like this? No, let's put little, little ones. Little ones. There we go. And then more cannons. Cannons, 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 cannons. And, of course, we need, guess what? More cannons. So, yeah. Let's spread them out a bit. So we even, evenly distribute the weight. Getting technical now, guys. Because, of course, this is the most technical channel of channels. So, uh, definitely subscribe for that. <laughs> Look at, it's actually looking pretty cool. I, don't, tell me you wouldn't shit your pants if you saw that rolling up to your front gate, okay? Now, theoretically, you would have to be living in a castle for me to, like, siege it. But still, you, you would be scared, okay? You would definitely be scared. Right, more cannons. Cannons, cannons, can. No! Let's place it on the ground. There we go. No, there we go. Cannons. Look at this thing. Look at this. Absolute monster truck of death. Alright, guys. We were um hmm. Well, so now for the spike. We got we gotta have more. Just more. More, more, more. Oh yes, yeah, and then spikes here. That is what I'm talking about. Look at this thing. Can we put spike Oh <laughs> My brain just jizzed again. Two orgasms in one night, guys. You know it's a good night like that. Look at this thing. It's spikes. It's a wall of spikes. These guys are so screwed. And this is where I found out it, it completely doesn't work. But oh well. I don't care. Looks cool. That is what is important. That is what is important. Look at this thing. Right. Let's roll this thing into battle, guys. Let's do this. Oh my god, my game lagged a bit there. Oh god, the shooting arrows, no! Oh my god, it is doing a front wheelie. I'm epic. Oh my god, how far can they bloody shoot? No, mm, no, no, no. Right, there we go. We are, we are stable. And into battle we charge. What is the key to fire? I forgot. It's R, right? Is it R? R. No. Uh, 
fuck. This this is a problem when you go into battle, guys. You definitely want to know what key you need to press for the cannons. F. T. C. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a very unsuccessful journey. Let's try that again. Absolutely charge. And C. <laughs> Just the splat. The absolute splat. Oh, we only got half the castle. No. Look at all these people. Oh, look, it actually tells you what they died of. Full body burns. More like full body desolation. Uh, yeah, full body burns, body burns. That, that's a little cool. That's a nice little feature. It's so basically, we need some kind of stabilizer on this thing. So we need kind of some scaffolding at the back so that when it does shoot the cannons, it doesn't just absolutely collapse on us. So that, that should work, right? Just kind of catch it as it falls back. And then, you know... We can continue on our merry way, just absolutely thrusting the spikes into them. That should work. And, right, drive, 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 and see. Oh my god, I destroyed half my machine by shooting them things. Do I, have to, I think we have to destroy the... Oh god, I burned in a horrible fire of death. We have to destroy the, um, this thing over here. What was it called? Windmill! That is the thing it is called. We have to destroy this as well. So that means we can't just, you know, blow ourselves up in the first... 10 seconds. Oh, we got to destroy both of them, right? Both the uh, little buildings at the back there, right? So we need another secondary line of weaponry. Or at least a way to manoeuvre. About. Um, hmm. Right, so we're going to need to... Uh, I don't know. We might we might have to build like a secondary vehicle on this thing. Let's, let's kind of move this thing forward. And then on the back... Guys, we could... Uh, no, back a bit. There we go. We could put another vehicle that we could control. That'd be pretty cool. I, I think you can do that. Pretty sure you can. The problem is it's all on the same control scheme. So, grip pad. Fair enough. Um, let us do... I'm going to put armor on it, uh, but let's not weigh it down too much at the moment. Um, Alright, so we need... Uh, I don't know how I would do this. I, I don't actually know. Um, uh, right, I'm thinking let's just remove these wheels in the middle. As cool as they look, we kind of need to, um, you know, basically we need to be able to turn this thing once we destroy the wall in front of us to go around to the uh, kind of like cottage and stuff at the back and uh, finish them off so we can actually complete the level. Uh... No, they're needed at the back. We're going to need some kind of support along here. So, uh, that should be all good. Let's turn the camera there. There we go. Um, right, and then we need to get rid of these wheels, and we'll replace them shortly in just a second. Oh, uh, there we go. Just floating spikes. Why not? <laughs> Why not, guys? Uh, there we go. So, we're going to need the, uh, pivot things, which I've kind of, kind of learned how to maneuver. Um... We've got massive wheels, of course. Has to be done to even just support this thing, probably. So there you go. That should be good. Let's uh, try this thing out. Turn this round. Oh, no, they're going to start shooting at me. It's all right. I don't think they can destroy me. So uh, let's get a better camera angle for you guys. There we go. And uh, into battle we go. Holy crap. I, uh, that, that was very successful. Right, now to, to turn this uh, absolute behemoth of a machine... That was actually kind of working. All right, not let's not turn them all the way, or I'll break the rudders, whatever they're called. The, the, I'll, I'll break the supports, basically. All right, there we go. Round, round, no. Round. It's actually working. Steady. Steady. And back. And then just thrust it with the spikes. No, we've lost, like, half the wheels. Have we? I don't think we have. Oh, we lost. No, we haven't. We've all got, we've got the wheels still, which is good. Except it won't turn. There we go. That's half. Oh, my... What? <laughs> what? What the hell? My wheels are on the inside somehow. I don't I don't know if that's possible. Oh, well. Oh, for, I reset it. God damn it. <laughs> I was too keen to press the space bar. It's all right. We kind of know how to maneuver this thing now. Zoom out a bit for you guys. Uh, right. See? Absolutely desolate it. Oh, what? I didn't... Right. Screw you. You're getting rammed. And in the process, I blew up the whole thing. GG, Josh. Right. Forward a bit. And C. There we go. That That is more successful. 
that time. Uh, where are we actually going with this thing? Uh, let's go the way we did go. Right, let's back up. There we go. And then let's go around here. The other way this time. We should be able to ram it as long as we don't take out the wheels again. Are there no treacherous sheep? Where oh my god. What is this? <laughs> is I no. Is I no. He must have been on fire or something. That's pretty cool though. Oh my god, look at the people. I haven't actually looked at the people yet. A uh, little uh, Templar Knights. That's pretty cool. Right, do not press space bar. Do not press the space bar. Right, that'll do. Re reset the camera. Oh, that's that's very handy. Probably should have learned that sooner. Oh, cool. We've already destroyed the little cottage. So I'm just... Oh, for penis sake. Come on, we can still make it. Two wheels will do. Two wheels will do. Two wheels will do. Two wheels will do. And now we're moonwalking. Sick. <laughs> all right, come on. Whatever attempt this is. There we go. Killed all them. Right, we can maneuver that one with ease. And let's go around this way. Go around here. Just dead bodies casually rolling in a very stiff position. Pretty sure bodies aren't like that in re real life, but oh well. All right, and again. Destroy. Oh, I just love the blood and the fire physics. The game, this art style for this game looks insane. 10 out of 10 on the art style. All right. Oh, maneuver, maneuver, maneuver. I'm going to ram it backwards, but still. We just need to get a little tap on it. Oh, no. Careful. We will. We A little tap, a little tap this way. All right, let's reverse it up. Steadily does it. Steadily. There we go. <laughs> Look, the little tap with the spikes and uh, we managed to destroy it there. Look at this thing. This is the behemoth, guys. That is what we, we shall call this vehicle. Next zone. What is the new challenge for us? To oh, my God. Kill 90% of everybody. Is it going to be attacking us from all sides? Going to have to say goodbye to the behemoth. Let's wave it goodbye here. Goodbye, behemoth. You will be missed. All right, now we need absolute just we need armor and everything to in order to because well yeah they're coming from three out of four sides of us so uh, yeah we're gonna need kind of like a cube we don't even need to move for this one more of kind of like a defense mechanism which is uh, probably handy in my case in as I aren't the best at the movement controls more of just blowing shit up but then again who 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 isn't you know better at blowing shit up than moving so uh, right. Just create kind of like a wooden cube, and then we'll just lace it with armor, 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 and uh, cannons. Of course, of course, guys, you cannot play this game without cannons. That is an essential, essential part of this game. Uh, probably three high would be good. Let's move it down, but or just drop it to the floor. That'll do. And then connect these up. I'll probably slot the cannons in, like, in the middle of it. Like, in the mid middle row section bit. Um, got everything all connected right. So, uh, yeah. Armor first. Metal plate. How? F right to flip. No, R. There we go. What's this one? So this is per square, and this one's more, kind of like, per section, I guess. And get a little one on there. I think it might be better to do the little ones. Actually cover like every bit of it. This may take a little while. Oh well. Building is fun. This game is fun. Period. Uh, I, I guarantee I'm going to miss some spots though. Yeah, so in there I think I might put the cannon. If I can. We'll have to see in just a second. Let me uh, cover this thing in armor and I'll be right back with you guys. I, I don't really need to cover the back in armor. But I might as well, right? Some of them might sneak around I guess. They may change directions and again they'll probably just like charge directly at me seeing as this is you know still pretty early on level in the game oh and the top they're probably gonna be firing arrows as well the sneaky little buggers uh right there we go pretty much done and then we'll attach some cannons and probably some spikes to this thing so you can't just like run into me uh let's see weaponry how big all right if we kind of like create a slot in here will that allow me to place it oh i will Look at that. That is... Oh, my God. I, I love this game. Just just being able to build, like, siege engines is just cool. I just love the concept for this. That is definitely not where I wanted to put that. I did not want to blow myself up. Oh, I've destroyed a, uh, you know, an additional pillar, which I didn't want to. 
So I kind of rotate that there. There we go. Um, I don't want. I don't want that. There. Is that the? That's not the correct one. That I wanted to get rid of. Um. All right. Let's move this armor. Let's do a little block. That'd be better. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Uh, we'll we'll reattach the armor in just a second. Let's get these cannons done and out the way first. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh, what? Can't place it there? Why is that? Is it just everything around it? Or something? What the? What the hell, bro? I placed that one fine. Um, it's going to take out all this. Diagnose the situation here. Is that okay? It's on the same level, right? I don't know. Let's just take out the sides first. Or the, kind of like the middle section. Sort this out and then we shall, you know, redo it. Rebuild it back up. So, guys, I'm finally done. Welcome to the Cube of Death. Look at this thing. I spent quite a little bit of time on it. Um, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. But still, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Look at that. Do one, doesn't that look sick with the cannon arrangement? And two, I have a fucking flamethrower on the front. Look at this thing. This should be very fun indeed. The problem is I don't know if I have enough firepower to take out at least 90% of these enemies, which uh, which is the current objective. Oh, shit. I didn't realize the guys on the uh, kind of like corner bits there. Oh, well. Let's see what this thing can do. Let's get a nice high angle of this thing and uh, witness the destruction. Let's go. Oh my god, the lag. The absolute lag. And can, can we do a... Oh, we're kind of out of firepower. The flamethrower is still going. Come on. The cube is alight, but it will will it do it? Come on. Lost th the last few. Suicide bomber. No. Damn it. Jesus Christ, that was laggy. Uh, that was pretty laggy. <laughs> I apologize for that. Anyway. So we need a bit more firepower. I'm thinking spikes of some sort, or another flamethrower, maybe another flame flame thrower to kind of like finish off the last enemies. Uh, let's take out the bottom. Look, rows. There we go. That that was the word I was searching for. This will probably make it ten times more laggy, but still, why not? Eh? Why not? Ready? Here we go, guys. And again, let's do this thing. Fire and why? Flames everywhere. Oh my god, the lag. The lag. My computer can't handle it. Come on. Kill them all. Kill them all. Can we do it? Come on, the last few. Yes, guys. That is zone four. I think I've been playing for quite an adequate amount of time. Look at this. I just... Oh my god. The art style for this game and just the concept of kind of like... You're in your own little sandbox. You can build these awesome war engines these siege engines to uh you know complete certain objectives and uh basically be very creative with it and you know you can play seriously you can do just stupid shit and mess about it's a lot of fun guys it's only five pounds on steam or your original equivalent definitely go check it out okay i'm not sponsored by them or anything this isn't a paid promotion but i'm saying like this this is a good game guys i'm only going to recommend to you guys games that i've enjoyed and i've definitely enjoyed this play session i can't wait to come back that's another time and uh, play a bit more. I I, uh, I don't know. I, I may be tempted to play a bit off camera, but then again, I want to experience the rest of you guys. So if this video does get a lot of support, if you guys do enjoy it, hit that like button and of course subscribe for more from myself. If it gets a lot of support, if you guys want to see more from Besiege, more Besiege from me, then uh, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I'll bring you guys more. I want to I bring you guys the stuff that you guys want to watch and of course the stuff that I want to play as well. Well done, Spiling Games. Been very fun indeed. Can't wait to play a bit more of this in the next time. So, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Love duplicates. Don't you guys love duplicates? Sick. Right. And wait, what? 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 The what? What the fuck? <laughs>